Hey, bye smart fam. Welcome back to another episode where we help you make smarter purchasing decisions. Today, we've got an epic showdown between two heavyweights from Apple, the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 12. Buckle up, because this is going to be one wild ride. Let's talk about the first thing that hits your wallet, the price. The iPhone 11 is priced at a cool $359, while the iPhone 12 will set you back $449. That's a $90 difference. For an extra $90, you could buy, uh, 90 items from the dollar store. So, the iPhone 11 wins this round if you're trying to save some cash for more important things, like avocado toast. Both phones are fully unlocked and compatible with pretty much every carrier out there. AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, US Cellular, Cricket, Metro, even your grandma's backyard pigeon carrier. So it's a tie in this category. Both the iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 guarantee a minimum battery capacity of 80%. So, whether you're Team iPhone 11 or Team iPhone 12, you'll get a phone that won't die on you halfway through your latest Netflix binge. Another tie, folks! Now, let's talk about looks. Because who wants an ugly phone? The iPhone 11 is tested for battery health and functionality, but the iPhone 12 goes the extra mile. It's inspected to have minimal cosmetic damage that you won't even notice unless you're Sherlock Holmes with a magnifying glass. So, the iPhone 12 takes the crown for being the phone that looks good from all angles. Both phones have passed full diagnostic tests to ensure like new functionality and removal of any prior user personal information so you won't get any surprise selfies from the previous owner. It's another tie. Reviewers love the iPhone 11 for its excellent performance, camera quality, and value for money. Though a few had minor issues like small scratches or setup difficulties. The iPhone 12 is praised for its condition and customer service, with some users noting minor flaws like audio quality or battery health. Both phones have their strengths, making them solid choices depending on your priorities. So there you have it, folks. If you're looking to save some money, the iPhone 11 is your best bet. But if you want a phone that looks fresh and new, the iPhone 12 is worth the extra bucks. Either way, you're getting a solid device that's gone through more tests than a high school student during finals week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. And let us know in the comments which phone you'd go for. Product links are in the description. Until next time, stay smart and keep buying smart.